Hello and welcome to this session on how to create a Selenium Java framework step by step and today we are going to learn how to we run our test on a Firefox browser. So today we will add a Firefox driver which is Geeko driver and then we will run our test on Firefox browser and you can follow this video and these sessions on Windows as well as on Mac and as always we will go very basic step by step. So let's get started and let us see how do we add the Firefox driver Geeko driver. So let me go back to my project and this is what we have been creating in our last session and uh, we tried to run our test on a Firefox driver and when we click on run or do a right click and do run as Java application we get this exception which says the path to driver executable must be set by the Geeko driver. So uh, let me just show you the exception first. Let me maximize this. Yeah, uh, the path must be set by webdriver.geeko driver and it actually gives us the URL where we can get the Geeko driver downloaded. So this is the URL. I am just going to go to this URL. Okay. And I will go to my browser and go here. And you can see here we have the Geeko driver and the latest version as of now is 0 0.18 so whatever latest version is there present at your time you can download that according to your operating system now if I go to my windows as well I am having the same framework here and here as well if I do a right click and do a run as Java application I am going to get the same exception so we will see how exactly we add the Geeko driver both on Windows and on Mac. So you can see I'm getting the same exception here as well. So the path to the driver executable must be set by Geeko driver and the same URL. So let me also open this URL on my Windows as well so that I will download it here as well. Okay. So let me first download for it uh, for Mac. So I'm going to go to the Mac and I will just click on the zip file and it is downloaded here. So now I'm going to unzip this and I have got this Geeko driver. So now what you can do is you can keep this at any location on your system. However, I will recommend that you create a folder inside your project which will be very handy so that even if you take your project from this machine to some other machine, this drivers will go with you. So what you can do is you can do a right click on your project and say new and go to folder and just create any folder so I, I will name it as drivers and I will keep all the browser drivers here and say finish and you can see this has come right now here I can say again new folder and I can say Geeko driver so I will know that the Geeko driver is in this folder and I will say finish now here I can add the Geeko driver executable so uh, what I will do is I will go physically to this location on my system and I will just paste the Geeko driver here so from downloads I will take this from here and paste it inside here and if I will refresh this you can see the Geeko driver executable is here the same thing I can do on my windows I will just create a folder I will right click I will say new folder sorry just let me do it again right click new folder I will name it drivers and here I will again add a folder called Geeko driver and here I will add the Geeko driver for Windows so for Windows you will take the Windows uh, version which is Win64 or Win32 as per the 
operating system you have also in case you want to know whether you should take windows 32 or windows 64 you can actually go to your windows and uh, go to my computer do a right click go to properties and here you will get the information about your operating system so in my case it is 64 bit so i'm going to take the 64 bit here this one and i have actually already downloaded it here so i'm just going to take it from here copy it from here i'll just copy it from here and go to my project and inside the geeko driver i will just paste it okay so you can see my Geeko driver .exe is here okay so now what we have to do is uh, we have to set the path for Geeko driver so for doing that we have the commands system.set property webdriver.geeko.driver and the path to the driver executable so let me do that I will say system.set property and you will get this option and here we have to give the key and value so the key is uh, webdriver.geeko.driver and the value is the location of the Geeko driver so here it is this one right so I'll just give this location okay that's it and now I should be able to run it on Firefox now one thing that you should be uh, taking note of in case of Mac you can just give the location up to the folder for example my this is my folder where Geeko driver is so I'm just giving the location up to this folder right up to here but in case of Windows you will give the entire location until exe so again I will do the same thing here system dot just a moment system dot set property right yeah set property this one and the key is web driver dot geeko dot driver and this is the location so you can do a right click and go to properties and it will give you the location so I can just copy it from here sorry just copy it from here and paste it here okay so this is our of course on Windows you will have to uh, make these slashes uh, make change on the slashes so Yeah, for now it is already taking double backslash which, which should be okay however you can also change it to a forward a single forward backslash uh, which will be useful so just in case you take this to some other operating system uh, for example if I take this to a Mac it will create errors because Mac will not recognize the double back backslash but it's okay for Windows for now right so let it let us keep it as it is just save it and just save this one as well and let me just try to run it again so I will do right click run as Java application uh, so again it is throwing some error so I think uh, we have to on Mac as well I have to say Geeko driver but not the exe right let me run it now and yes see now it is opening the Firefox browser and it is going to seleniumhq.org so now it is working fine so yes uh, what I said was that you have to give the location until the geeko driver.exe but in Mac you will not mention .exe however in Windows you will mention .exe so let us also uh, run our Windows test so let me do a right click run as Java application yes it is running here as well yeah it is running this one as well okay so this is successful both on Windows and Mac
okay so the next step was run a test on Firefox browser which we have already done also uh, I'll just tell you in case you have to you want a little more information about Geeko driver and you are curious to know what exactly Geeko driver is and why exactly we are using it you can go to my channel on YouTube automation step by step and here go to the playlists and go to the selenium playlist here and here you will find this session on uh, what is Geeko driver how to use Geeko driver so in case you are curious about what exactly Geeko driver is and why we are using it to interact with Firefox you will get information here also uh, to just let you know if you are using a Firefox version before version 47 you might not need Geeko driver you can directly uh, do a web driver equals new Firefox driver and it should work you do not will not need this but in case you are using a Firefox version 47 and above then to interact with Firefox you will need Geeko driver okay also let me just show you one more thing uh, now you can see the location for Geeko driver.exe that I have given is an absolute location okay so just in case I take this project to some other machine or to some other system this is going to break because it might not find this particular location there so what we can do is because we have already added our Geeko driver inside the project we can take a relative location and for that what you can do is you can say system dot get property and the property name is user dot dir okay so what this will give it will give you the location for your project wherever it is on the system and you can actually store it in any string so I will say project path equals to this and just to verify I will just uh, print it you can say syso press press control spacebar and it will give you the expanded form of system.out.println and here you can just print out this project path just to verify that you are getting the correct project path okay let me just run it once to, to verify that I am getting and yes you can see it is giving us the location of our project and now what I am going to do is I am going to replace the absolute section so until here uh, until here selenium java framework which is our project we are already getting this location from our project path so I will just copy this here and then say plus so the project path and then the relative path of my Geeko driver okay and now if I run it it should run fine now as well so let me just run it and yes now you can see it is working same as before so this will be very handy in future so you would not have to change the project location every time you take your project to any other system okay so let's do a very quick recap in this session we learned how to add the Firefox browser driver which is Geeko driver and then how to run a test on the Firefox browser in the next session we will do Chrome browser we will add the drivers for Chrome browser and then we will run a test on Chrome browser I hope you liked this session please do subscribe to this channel to keep receiving new videos on automation and also if you like please hit the like button and share it with others I will meet you in the next session Thanks for watching.